Hello everybody. I know you're expecting to see the kitchen chemistry today with Tinica, but today it's Mallory and Lauren. We're going to teach you how to do shrink banding. As you can see in front of us, we have a wide variety of ready to label that's going to be available on our website. Um, each of these have the capability of being labeled. So if you purchase one product up to 144 units or more, we could label them for you before adding the shrink band. And if you can see in front of all of our packaging are the shrink bands according to the size of the bottle. It's really critical to get the correct size for each project so that it fits perfectly. Lauren is going to show you how to use our heat gun and I'm going to show you how to use a hairdryer. So this is just a standard heat gun. This is one from downstairs. Uh, this is one that is used right here in our own facility by our production team to apply shrink bands to our products. Um, so you know it's good quality. You can get all varieties of heat guns. Most of them will have a level one or two or low or high setting. Um, for right now, because we're working with plastic, I am going to be keeping this on a low setting. Uh, but if you're using glass or you are really familiar with the heat gun um, and experienced, you can certainly put it on high. I have tested that uh, today and that worked just fine. Uh, Mallory and I, this is our first time applying shrink bands. We've been practicing all morning. Um, so anyone can do it. It does take a little bit of practice to get that perfect seamless fit, but anybody can certainly do this and we are definitely proof of that. Um, one thing we want to make sure we say is that before you apply your shrink band, make sure that you have applied your labels first. Um, once you apply your shrink band, it's on there. The only way to get it off is to um, mess with the temper evident or perforated edge here. And you don't want to do that. Um, then you're just going to have to take it off and reapply a new one. So make sure that your labels have been pre-applied. Um, another thing that you're going to want to make sure of is that your area is clean. You'll notice that both Mallory and I are wearing gloves. Uh, this is just to make sure that we're not getting any fingerprints on our products before we put the shrink bands on, that we're not messing our labels um, that have been applied. So, um, and then really quickly, some heat gun safety before I turn this guy on. Um, it has, and most will, have some kind of little stand. So as opposed to putting it, and I'm not sure if you guys can see all the way over here, but as opposed to setting it down on a surface flat where this hot side would touch, uh, you can set it like such. And I'll move these guys away for you. Like this. That way, this heat gun's not touching your surface. Even if it's a metal or heat safe surface, we recommend using that. And then obviously, this gets really hot. Don't touch it. Don't aim it at your skin or your hair, especially your hair. Um, and yeah basic heat gun safety from a professional. Lauren's going to show you how to apply one of our shrink bands to the container. What you need to do is be sure to open it from the center rather than the edges just to make sure you avoid any breakage or uh, cause any damage to the shrink band when applying. It is common you're going to lose a few so always ordering more in advance is ideal. Look at how great she is you guys. And what you can see she's applying it directly to the top and going to just lower it so that it covers both the lid and the packaging. And why we encourage you to do the label prior to is to avoid having any um, coverage that would be missed if you put the label on top. Especially if you're going to be using a full body one, which we're going to be showing you in a second. All right, so I'm going to turn on yes. my heat gun. So as you can see, Lauren's doing a low heat right now. We do advise going that route, especially with the plastic container, just to see, and if it's your first time, to see if it's going to be the best route to go. Uh, Lauren's main goal while she's doing this is to avoid any bubbles. Um, making a really clean, crisp surface is the best bet. Um, by doing this, she's slowly rotating the bottle and keeping her heat at a decent distance and kind of keeping that consistent rotation as she goes. By doing that, we're going to avoid um, any bubbles, but we're going to also show you what that looks like when we're done. And it's that easy. Voila! So now we'll probably do a few more so that you guys can see the different styles and how they work. So we'll bring in this funky guy. Excellent. From the center. And this now, guy's a little harder because he's a funky shape. 
And as you can see, Lauren really takes her time in applying that shrink band onto the package. Uh, the main purpose is always to get it over the lid and the um, kind of where that lid meets the packaging, um, whether that be a bottle or a jar. It's always going to be a very time consuming process to do shrink banding by hand. Uh, with the heat gun, you can see how fast one works, but if you get any frustration or difficulty, take a little breather. We always encourage just coming back to it when you're ready. So for this one, I'm going to start at the bottom. You'll notice that the uh, shrink band, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's going above the top of the closure all the way to the bottom of mm -hmm. the packaging. So in order to maintain safety and not get my fingers in a situation where they might get burned, I'm going to start at the bottom and try to get that shrink band sealed all the way around so that I can then put it back down flat on my surface and redo the top. So we're going to try and get the bottom nice and applied here. I'm going to rotate slowly and I'm just going to try to work my way up the sides. You can see that with the heat gun it's fast acting. If she were to apply a higher heat to this it would happen much faster. So if it's your first time doing this just note take your time. It's always going to benefit you in the long run. And you'll see I'm getting a little bit of bubbling here. Um, you may or may not get that. Honestly, that's not so much the heat gun or this just as my experience shrink banding. Um, I have practiced a lot today, especially with this guy because he's been causing me some problems. Um, and the more that you go over it, you don't want to spend too much time in one area. You don't want to melt your plastic. That's a for sure thing, even on low heat. If you keep it in one spot for a long time, you might melt the plastic. It's a lot like your hair dryer. You're not just going to leave it sitting in one spot on your hair. Um, so that's about as good as I think I'm going to get with this guy. Might take a little bit of finesse, and I did get a little bit of heat on my fingers there, so be careful. Um, so I may very well need a little bit more practice, but it is applied. I'm going to actually try and get that bottom a little more. Let's see if we can. And I'm not going to, I'm going to wait till my heat gun gets to the heat before I try to apply it. Oh, there we go, yeah. Okay, so let's see if this sits flat now. There we go, yay. Uh, and then the next route is actually to utilize the hair dryer. We're not gonna try and do that at the same time, just so you can actually hear what Lauren's about to say when I'm applying it. Same process. Yep, open from the center. Sometimes they can get a little, um, they can stick to each other. Just try and be patient opening that up. You don't need to get it open all the way, just that bottom. Because once you place it, as you can see, over the top and you pull it down or up or however you're doing that, um, it'll open it up all on its own. Um, I'm also going to try it with a high heat just to see uh, the length of time that it's actually going to require to get this going the way we want it to. Thanks, Lauren. You're welcome, Allie. I think we just got a little bit. Yeah, you'll see <laughs> if Alex wants to come in here. You can see that that's about as much shrinking as our lovely hair dryer managed to do. Um, so we really stress using a heat gun. They're very inexpensive. Um, it, it might seem like a really fancy tool. It's not. You can get one on Amazon really inexpensive, and if you're gonna be shrink banding, you know, 100 plus bottles, you're gonna want one. Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. Um, with doing the hair dryer, it's, it's a great attempt, but certainly it's gonna take a lot more time for you to finish the project. We want you to do it as efficiently and um, as successfully as possible. As you can see, um, it is a time-consuming process, but also really fast. Uh, all of these RTLs that Lauren 
completed or Lauren did were very successful whereas we did have a few hiccups um, you can see damaged lids and even melting of bottles if the heat is too high and too close to your product um, and the shrink band so we hope that it's been helpful in addition I know Lauren wants to give you some information about Amazon yeah so um, if this process is seeming a little overwhelming, maybe you don't have a heat gun, maybe you just don't have the time or you're just plain not interested in applying shrink bands yourself, if these products you're buying are going to Amazon, again, uh, at 144 or more, we'll apply the labels. But we also offer Amazon kitting. And that basically means that everything that needs to be done to ensure that your product is just ready to sell on Amazon, we get it all ready here to their specifications. So this includes a double seal, which all of our ready to labels will come with the pressure seal under the closure. Obviously the shrink bands are an option that you need to purchase additionally, but we will apply those shrink bands after labeling your products, package them all up to meet Amazon specifications and send them directly to the Amazon FBA warehouse. Uh, so if that's something that is interest of interest to you, uh, please let us know that is a service that we offer. Um, other than that, we hope that you guys had a good time. We certainly did. Um, I know this video was really short, but Mallory and I have spent quite a few hours today playing with shrink <laughs> bands. Um, if you have trouble applying your shrink band, don't beat yourself up. This takes practice. It is an easy process, but it does take practice to perfect and get that seamless line. So take some time to practice and have fun. Thanks for, for watching. Us. And be sure to like this video if you had fun uh, and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Bye. Bye.